As you probably see in the screen right now, I do have an HTML report already generated. Well, uh, and this is working correctly with Cypress 10 and also, well, future versions, of course, and also with Cucumber.js. As you can see, I have an S scenario here, which is the success login, and it is not working correctly. And you can see the error message of what is happening here, and also in a screenshot of where or what was happening at the moment of the failure. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and try to understand how to integrate all these configurations okay all right masters as you probably know in the last video i explained to you how you can configure cucumber with cypress 10 and future versions right and well if you haven't checked that i highly recommend you to check that video you can find it in my channel junk media in the video automate your tests now with cypress 10 and cucumber okay because this is important you are gonna understand how you can come here for example and check how you can add a feature file how you can write down the gherkin part how you can configure the step definitions to well allow cypress and cucumber to read the the, the feature file right so you're you're going to understand a lot a lot of of what is happening with this video okay but i'll try to well focus on 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 the on the pending part right which is um how you can get an html report from the well the new library of cucumber and cypress okay uh, well there is a lot of steps but well i i offer you a, a quick solution <laughs> this is the repo that i created this is named a uh, cypress cucumber boilerplate project and well in order to uh, download and and install the project and get the demo working you only need to install Node.js, the JSON formatter that I'll try to explain you in, in a few seconds how, how you can install it and, and use it. Also, well, as soon as you clone the project, just uh, install the dependencies using npmi and then just run a demo using the command npm run cypress execution and you're going to get the report up and running in your operating system, okay? So let's go ahead and, and start with the configuration part because probably that's what you want to see, right? I just want to say thank you very much to Flavio Romero, who is the guy that guided me with the, pro the configuration process. I was a bit lost, but he gave me a lot of light in this dark path of installing Cypress and Cucumber. Thank you very much to Flavio. Okay, so let's start and, and let's understand how I install this. Here in the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor repository, we have the documentation, right? And we have a specific part for JSON reports. In order to get this working, I'm gonna come here to my project and I'm, I'll be opening the file named Cypress Cucumber preprocessor rc.json, okay? And you're gonna see that in this file, uh, I, I have added a, some properties that you probably didn't see in the last video. The first one is the JSON property, right? The JSON object. And this object is going to have some keys like enabled, it has to be in true, right? The output is gonna be the JSON logs. Well, the, the file, you can specify the path and the file name where you're gonna get the, the JSON file already formatted with all the results, right? But this is the important part, you need the formatter. If you check the official documentation, uh, well, this guy tell us that this is also, this also requires you to have downloaded and installed the Cucumber JSON formatter yourself, yourself okay? And well, we have a kind of a link here, so you have to click on this and then you're gonna get more information in this readme, okay? Um, well, in, in simple words, you have to access this GitHub releases part and you're gonna get a lot of versions of the Cucumber JSON formatter, okay? It is gonna depend on your operating, operating system. We have the Linux version, the Windows and the Mac OS over here, okay? And well, here you're gonna have a kind of, uh, well, guide to install this in mac os windows and linux but the process is similar than than in windows let me show you how how, how it works it is telling me that i need to download this fo this file cucumber json formatter windows uh, amd 64 so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna copy the name and i'm gonna be looking for that so i just have to click on this it is going to download the file and then as you can see i have to rename it to cucumber json formatter that exe all right and i need to move it to the folder where i have the project okay that's important and well as soon as you have done this 
it is done. You only have to configure the, the name of the file in the formatter property or key from the JSON object, okay? And that's basically it. It is gonna work for sure. Then uh, also we need to specify the messages key object, I'm sorry. And uh, well, it is also a key, right, in this, in this object. <laughs> and we have an enabled property here to true. And also I can specify where I want to have the output. Let me explain you what I understand from this process. As soon as you execute, uh, um, well, the, 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 I don't know, the execution, right? I'm sorry, execute execution. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but as soon as you execute this, it is going to be a um, creating a kind of file with a lot of messages. It, it is not sorted. So the, the, the um, Cucumber JSON formatter, it is needed to uh, kind of interpret what is happening in that file and get all the information sorted in a JSON file. And as soon as you have done this, well, it is gonna be working perfectly fine. Let me show you how, how you can do it. I'll be using the command npm run Cypress execution, which is the one that I just told you in the in the well, repository explanation, right? This is the command that we need to run the demo, okay? And as soon as you execute this command, you're gonna notice that this is gonna be working in headless mode, and it is gonna be using the default browser that Cypress has, which is if I am not wrong, Electron, if I am not wrong, okay? And well, you can see that, well, it is in execution. We have an error in the first scenario. It is on purpose to check the, the screenshot and the error message. And you're gonna see that now I do have a new, uh, well, a couple of files here under the JSON logs folder. The first one is the message, the messages file that I just told you that it is a kind of a mess file, right? But then I have the log.json with the necessary, uh, well, with the sorted information over here, right? You can see that we have a description. Every single element is a kind of, I don't know, maybe a background or an scenario. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, as, as I'm telling you. And all the details that I need to convert this JSON to an HTML file, right? A, a good one, a beautiful one. So how, how I can do it? Um, well, the next step is, is going to be use um, this, I'm sorry, this one. Uh, let me see where is the library that I need. Do, do, do. I think that I close it, but you can see the the repository that you need in this, well, in my repo that I'll be um, leaving in the description of, the, of this video. And the package is this one, multiple cucumber HTML reporter. And well, it is a, a good repository. It, it, it has a lot of maintenance, I think. As you can see, it was published a month ago and it, ha it has a lot of versions. So the, the way that you have to install this is using the command npmi, multiple cucumber HTML reporter. And if you want to have that as a, well, as a dev dependency, only you only need to send this parameter over here, which is save dev, right? As soon as you execute this command in your terminal like this, let me show you, because it could be people that doesn't know this. And you can see that, well, the, the package is already installed in my case, but in your case is gonna be installed from the scratch. And in the package.json, I do have a new line in the dev dependencies of my project, called multiple cucumber HTML reporter. Okay, that's amazing. Now, how you, I can configure and kind of transform the, the JSON file to an HTML, it is pretty easy, right? In the, in the um, root directory of my project, right? You can see uh, a file name here, um, cucumber HTML report.js. This can be, um, well, as you can see in the, in the official documentation, we have a lot of configurations that you can add, right? For example, labels and, and so on, custom data, right? Run information actually. But well, in my case, I just added, added some details. Of course, you can add more of that. But you can see that what I'm doing here is requiring the library that I just installed in my project. Then I have the report that generate and well, this is a, it is going to have an object with a lot of keys, right? You can see a JSON directory. This directory is the place or the folder where the JSON file is already uh, formatted, okay? So that's the reason I have the JSON logs folder over here and it is going to be look for any JSON file that I have here. That's important. Then I have the report path, the, the path where I want to have the reports, uh, well, actually published or I don't know, yeah, the, 
generated, right? And I do have some metadata over here that specify the browser, the name, the version, the device, and the platform. I don't like this. Of course, I, I, I'd prefer to have a kind of automatic automatic report that gets the browser information, the device information, and the platform. But the way of um, this library is constructed, I am not sure if I can get that, right? Because if I look for the browser here, I don't know if I have that data. I don't think so. That could be improved, but it is not in my hands, okay? I just wanted to tell you that. Well, that's basically it. Now that I have this, uh, well, JS file in my project, I just need to well run the command node and the name of the file that I just created, which is which is cucumber HTML report. JS. And you're going to notice that in the reports folder, I have generated an index.html. And if I open this in my file explorer, it is not there. <laughs> Let's see what is happening here. Mm, there it is. And I do have the index file here. And you can see that, well, this is the multiple, multiple, multiple cucumber HTML reporter working as expected. We have the features uh, overview that you can see well one of the features is failing but in the scenarios part you can see that i do have uh, uh well only one scenario failing and that's why i do have a 74 percent of passing right over here and i can inspect the login page uh, feature right and here you can see the the details of every single scenario the good ones and the failed one that provides us with the show error message right and also the screenshot of what was happening at that particular moment that's amazing that's very good so guys i hope that you enjoy this thank you very much masters if you stayed until the end because well it helps a lot the channel please subscribe and let a like and i hope that you can still support every single video that i try to upload every single week thank you very much guys see you in the next one and this was joy media bye bye